Um, <laughs> a VTuber has had a bad week. And I I have taken phenomenal interest in this because I find it fascinating. It, it, it just so happens to land into the vein of Hogwarts, Skyrim Hogwarts, uh, that I've already been so, so fascinated with. Um... My first instinct about hearing this was to go to VT on, on 4chan. And I witnessed firsthand hundreds of men having a mental breakdown over Pikami, who is a half Japanese, half American youth VTuber based out of Japan, retiring over what appears to be um, harassment following their decision to stream Hogwarts Legacy almost a full month after it's come out for release. Actually, sorry. Um, her announcement was to play it on release date, but then she got a ton of shit, and she apparently doesn't handle bullying that well. People um, have repeatedly said that because she's a hat... By the way, to all you people who are like, oh, glorious Nipponese women well, are the true chat trad wives. She's half American, and she got bullied relentlessly in Japan because they don't like Hapas. They think it's disgusting, and they think that <clears throat> uh, it's it's uh, they're dirty. So she didn't she, she didn't have a good upbringing in Japan. She got bullied relentlessly for it. And then she goes on the internet and she does her VTuber shit, and she gets a following. And apparently that was that was good for her. And then she decides, I'm going to Skyrim the Hoggy Awards. And the bullying, the bullies, as they're called. What is a rat? A rat with three three letters. They're not rats. They're just called bullies when they're being mean to the VTuber. Um, but the bullies come out. And, of course, the bullies of a, are of a pers pers specific persuasion, gender persuasion, uh, which we just call, colloquially, are just being referred to as Rat is narrative? Is that like a mark in wrestling? Like the, the, the kayfabe? Okay. Rats are narratives. I got you. Um, so, <clears throat> so she gets, she basically gets bullied so hard that I, it's not confirmed because she has not confirmed it, but it does appear that based on the scheduling and the timing of things that her decision to retire or graduate as it's called in the idol industry, um, is based mostly on the bullies or the V-tweeters, as they're sometimes called. Um, so there's a couple clips in this that are about uh, just the sort of like, oh, you know, let's see if I can find one. I should have picked up a couple. <clears throat> this person in particular, Muppet VT, saying, no, you do deserve death threats. You do deserve your suffering. You do deserve your abuse for playing this game. So congratulations, you survived a fraction of a percent of what trans folk go through on a daily basis. You want a gold star or some shit like this? Twitch streamers are all horrible and could one could get cancer and I would literally laugh. Pika me is not a small uwu kettle bean. She is a woman with a platform and access to the lowercase i internet. The public has known for three years now that JK Rowling's uses her bigot money to fund vile assaults on human rights. Whether she wants to or not, by supporting the game, she supports bigotry. From the wording of her tweet, she fucking knew about the material impact of supporting J.K. Rowling, but she wanted to have her cake and eat it. Now folks who have been telling people since before the announcement not to buy this game are pretty seriously upset. I don't know what to tell her. She picked a side and she bought the game. She picked a side when she announced the stream. She's probably getting an undue level of shit because she's a woman online, but she picked her fucking side already. I consider this a win. Thank you for graduating her. Also, keep a tighter leash on your fanboys and orbiters that seem to be attacking other communities as well. Thanks. Love reading angry comments under that pick of me VTuber quitting. Like, what are you going to do? Cry? It's so good seeing conservatives seethe. Strange they didn't hold that power in the media they think they do. No one appeals to them. And they make no content. They only bitch about the others. Pikami accepted she was wrong and grew as a person. Uh, Silvervale, vale, on the other hand, has shown she absolutely does not care about trans people. She only cares about her nostalgia, even though many trans people will never be able to accept the nostalgia. 
In light of that recent retweet, I'm going to make a comprehensive list of every VTuber I can find who plays the turf game. Be very afraid. The thing I've seen the most with the VTubers who play this, they won't announce on social media what they're playing and or they'll go on their Twitch page and delete the VOD and evidence that they ever played it. So they definitely know what they're doing. But don't worry, I'm taking screenshots for evidence, Tilda. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Pika Me is just pretending to retire for the sake of causing a fight in the VTuber community, just like how Silver pretended that she was harassed in docs. Uh, sees Twitter trends, Pika Me is a pedo anyways. And now we'll talk about that. Uh, she was a piece of shit. Get over it. A few things here. If the backlash against the VTubers is enough to make someone turn against an entire demographic, they were never an ally, period. I love that. I love That's my favorite true thing. The no true ally shit that Jim Sterling and co do where they say, actually, if you do X, then you're never an ally to begin with. I'm like, okay. Fine, motherfucker. That's the nat that is the natural human reaction. That's not me projecting. That is what everybody does when they get told that shit. Like, fine, fuck you then. And then you're then you're, you're then you're flipped forever. Um, third, never threaten streamers. If anyone did that, shame on them. That's not okay. Okay, whatever. Four streamers for Christ's sake, stop streaming this fucking game. Come on. And then so, uh, so. Again, just a real quick timeline. They didn't stream much in January. They're coming back to stream in February. Coincidentally, Hogwarts is coming out in February. She said she was going to stream Hogwarts. She got a lot of flack for it. And then she suddenly announced that she would not be streaming the game. And then after a couple weeks of silence, announced that she was retiring. So it does seem pretty lined up. However, Kotaku and all these fucking people, if they're not just going on Twitter and saying, fuck her, she deserved it anyways, they're going online and they're saying... Um, Actually, it was far right trolls. It was a, it was a gay op by the far right trolls to make us look like horrible abusers who who hate women. And even Kotaku wrote an article saying there is no evidence that this happened. In fact, uh, she appeared to be graduating before um, uh, the game came out. Um, and I think that. Uh, the the timeline the difference is is that the the timeline for her retiring does line up but the they're saying that because the game came up after the first uh hint that she was retiring came out it can't be related but the thing is is that she announced that she would be playing the game before um the retirement announcement so they're trying to say that because the game wasn't out by that time uh, specifically the 10th um which is when they came out for everybody if you pre-ordered it you could play it on the 7th so the 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 timeline that they're trying to run with on twitter and kataki was just bullshit it's definitely related to the people threatening to fucking rape her because she's playing a hogwarts game um <clears throat> i i don't i think that tenma is from a different um group but she came out and said this is dumb and stupid fun ruining cunts get the rope uh, there, this person was mass reported for this tweet and delete and had to delete it. But then when they got unsuspended from Twitter, 12 hours later, they came back and they said, I meant what I said, fuck you. And, uh, that has been a, a great rallying point for get the rope has become a meme with the VTubers as they say. Um, yeah, I guess I'll circle around to the pedo thing. Like my criticisms of VTubers are, and I, I, I can't. Like I'll explain in a bit. I can't take their side because I, I just find it very creepy and weird. Character is obviously a lollycon, and if it's like, oh, I just want to have you know a young looking avatar. Well, then don't retweet the creepy lollycon shit on your fucking Twitter timeline if that's what you're going for. If you really want to have just innocently have like a young character, then you wouldn't be retweeting the creepy lollycon shit. Um, then there's this discussion, which is nine years old is truly the best. And then Ariane Lafatine replies saying, Pika me, it's 12 years old. She re replies saying 12 years old is the age they start dressing up or are interested in the opposite sex. So it's a little bit too mature. I think the best choice is nine years old. That is still juvenile, but not too juvenile. Anything less than that still feels like a toddler, which is no good. Hmm, I agree with that. So let's set it to nine to 12 years old. 
Nice Sue, agree. Nice Pika me. Um, I believe. I believe that the 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 cope context would be about like what age is best for like an avatar or something, and not specifically Lolicon. But there is another clip where she specifically says that she accidentally liked Lolicon uh, pictures on her on her um, corporate account, her corporate Twitter account, and then she had to unlike them. But it's. I don't know. It's all it's it's very creepy and weird to me, and I don't want to rain on people's parade because I do find the TTD very funny with this. Um, and there is a potential for hate crimes because, as this person says, "Fuck you, peek at me was my emotional support. I will kill a tranny. I will murder a trans." Screen cap this. There's another tweet I saw I, or message I saw on BT that was just like, "They took my sunshine from me. They took." my sunshine and it's like okay so there are definitely like a couple more than one mentally disturbed people out there who are now psychotically enraged because their 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 little kettle lollicon girl is gone from youtube i will i will i will phrase it like this though i like the troons less than i like anything I like the Troons and their enablers less than I like any other demographic. If you want to sit down and you want to have an adult conversation about, you know, Lolicon and Japanese culture and if their obsession with children in Japan is purely cultural escapism or if it is like systemic pedophilia in their society. We can have that conversation. We can make adult decisions if that kind of stuff is tolerable or not. There is no way to have a sit down, rational conversation with the Troon. They are at the bottom. Um, and because they're so often like sex abuse, like almost entirely, it's like it is a fetish. So it's always tied into some sort of weird sex thing with with women and children to the point where even if you say well the lollicons are pedophiles it's like well they're kind of like tamed pedophiles they kind of know that it's like bad so they look at cartoons and shit and they listen to adult women talk like toddlers the troons are like dangerous unabashed so societally protected child dangers so even if we are sitting down and trying to be as critical of VTubers as possible, I like Troons less. And I really sit and I try to think, you know, I, I've met like gendered people who I didn't hate. But when I really try and think about it, you know, you have the good ones are like Lilith Lovett, who's just like a sex object for Count Dankula and Short Fat Otaku and other people who are like into dick girls. And then you have Blair White, who's just like, yeah, I realize that um, my my sex change operation like fucked up my whole life, and I have a little baby dick, and I date a man who's okay with me having a little baby dick for whatever reason. Um, and my whole career is just grifting the, off the fact that I that I'm I'm one of them. I'm just like a shield for talking head pundits who want to prove that they're not actually transphobic or whatever the fuck. And it's just this, a, a, you know, like a belief-based system, and not just like intolerance. I really can't name a single one, and I refuse. I, I refuse to play the game, which is why I've looked it up. I didn't research because people brought up the, the term transphobia, and how they're not afraid of trunes. they just don't like them. So I present to you another Greek suffix, transmesia. Mesia means hatred or contempt. So you can say that you're trans music, you're homo music. Uh, you have, <clears throat> you are tolerant of transmesia, and that uh, apparently that's very close to the Russian word for transmission, which is like transmesia or something. But I'm I'm th I'm 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 discussing it. I've I've summoned the Council of Racist and Intolerant People to, to determine. Uh, if if there is acceptability with the term transmesia, um, I don't know. It, it's trans transphobic. The phobia is just so like 
accepted as like a thing that it's hard to replace, but I do I do like it. I think after some some discussion, Transmesia does does sound pretty nice. The ra this racism bit super education. I'm glad you think so. <clears throat> so there is some other stuff in regards to this. Um, in particular, let me make sure that there's no not safe for work on this page. There is. <clears throat> so I'll just actually, it's censored. So I sh it should be. F Can I like hide this? No. Okay, I will simply open these in new tabs then. Um, okay, so the reaction to this has, of course, been people in 4chan melting down, people in the Kiwi forums giving the true and shit. And the iron is hot. The iron is very hot. And the re natural reaction is someone wanting to grift off this to capitalize on, on this outrage and make, a, I mean, the thing about the Hogwarts shit is that it's so easy. It's so, it's set up as such an easy win. It's controversial for no reason. So it's so easy just to be like, I'm going to play a video game and then have people melt down, get tons of attention. And the first person to decide to do that after the peak of me stuff is the rabbit. So, I'm in a difficult position where I must talk about the rabbit because <laughs> um, she she is very good at catering to this audience of like 4chan alt right poltard people uh, who like anime and <laughs> has totally enamored Daddy Jim and all of his fans. So it's it's increasingly difficult to avoid the rabbit. Um, I'll save shitting on the rabbit in a bit because I have this lined up. So the rabbit announces that she is Pippa Pippa Pipkins. Is, uh, I'll just stop saying that. for for the sake of not making any sense. Uh, I will just call it call her Pippa, which is her her VTuber name. Uh, Pippa announced that she is going to stream Hogwarts Legacy, and. This enraged many people of gender and also retards. This is Sarah, Legend of Phoenix, saying she, it, sis. So she goes by she, or you can dehumanize her and call her a sex object. Sis, uh, red panda, colored by actual corn, and that guy is a cuckold. 29, neurodivergent, Final Fantasy 14. If you bring up my OnlyFans, you lost the debate. From Michigan, United States. And there's a link to her OnlyFans. She is a literal whore. And this is the first person notably to take up issue with the Pippa Pipkins announcing that she's going to be playing Hoggy Warts. She goes out and says, Anime girl LARPers know their, know their audience is full of transphobic and racist alt-writers. They know where their bread is buttered. Not shocked at all this keeps happening. Um... And you idiots still have not learned. Just shut up and let them play. And she says, stop being such a snowflake. This is one of many. But the actual horde of, uh, complaining about it was funny to me. But there are many more. Root Beer Cutie Boy says, so you're transphobic is what I'm understanding. Uh, oh, the wording of uh, the announcement is, is interesting. She says, I hate this franchise, but I hate people on Twitter more. Uh, open mouth emoji. So the 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 phrase "people on Twitter" becomes contentious. Uh, Persephone, Sil Persephone is like Lilith. If you hear a Persephone, that is a fucking tranny. Just so you know. Persephone Silver says Twitter people has now become the VTubers' dog whistle for trans and or Jewish people. I don't know where the fuck Jews come into this. Uh, it's like it's like trannies are like coddling up to Jews. Like, please. Please, Jewish people, J.K. Wowing made fun of you with these disgusting goblins that are totally Jews, so you're on our side too. Please give us some of your Holocaust magic to, to make us a, protect, a super protected class just like you. Please, please. And the Jews look down at the, at the golem and say, 
No. Stop pretending this is anything but hatred towards minorities. Own up to your own bigotry, clown. Void Rot, the sentient glitch tuber, says, and I, I will make a comment about that name in a second. I don't want to quote tweet, but the original also blocked them, but the replies are so gross. We do not tolerate transphobes in this house. Of course, many people opting to reply with some excitement and anticipation to the Pippa Pipkins announcement uh, opted to use less graceful language and uh, perhaps call for TTD, which whatever that may be. Punk at CEO of Real says, I hate Harry Potter, but I hate queers more. <laughs> and then there's like a picture of, I don't know what the fuck that is, but if you're trying, they make, they make this fucking rabbit um, sound like the most incredibly based person on the planet, which is why it's a shame I'm going to have to make fun of her to balance things out in a second. Andrea Hose to Foes says, in case you weren't convinced it's about hating trans people. Libs of TikTok official account parody says, I hate trans people more than I hate Harry Potter. <laughs> Soup Box says, what do you even achieve from this? $5,000 in, in case you're wondering what she accomplished by doing this. And a lot of notoriety. I think it was her most successful stream since the stream where she showed her feet on camera. No, that's not a joke. Momoka VT says, what the fuck, dude? This is pathetic and hard pandering to right-wing hate mentality, and it's sickening. Glyph, why anime when white rat emoji says, another example of people on Twitter, meaning people I don't like, a.k.a. trans people in this case. Ocel Gear says, the only difference between Pippa Pipkins and the average V Shoujo girl is that Pippa actually has a solid grasp on what her audience looks like. Groiper's right wing libs, but has enough <laughs> right wing libs, but has enough self control to not go full Hitlerite fascist, micro dosing Hitler particles, if you will. If you were trying to craft a viral tweet of fake outrage, to make me want to consume a product, describing it as microdosing Adolf Hitler is probably the best way to do that. It took everything I have. There was like titanium bolts locking down my brain saying, no, we're not going to stay up late at night and watch a fucking rabbit play Hogwarts. That is not happening. It, it, I, had, I had to put in the emergency anti-advertisement, anti-propaganda breaks. It, took, it actually took effort to restrain myself at that point in time, specifically because Ocel Gear described watching this cartoon rabbit play a shitty fucking wizard game as microdosing Hitler. Soup says, I hate people on Twitter more. Say it, bitch. Just say you hate transgenders. Just fucking admit it. Well, chat. Better don't, don't, don't let soup down. Why are there two soups? This is the second soup name that I've read. Nix, the snowflake emoji, says, Awful. Let's kill her. <laughs> uh, ibuprofen says, If you spoke to a gay person in real life, you'd perish. I don't know what the fuck that means. Is that, is that like a threat or is there like gay aura just going to kill poor, poor rabbit women? William says this whole Hogwarts shit is so unbelievably corny and lame. Holy fuck. Well, stop making playing Hogwarts an act of of resistance. Like for real. It's like um the end of uh of Ghostbusters where Gozer goes up into the sky and says, "Choose the form of your destructor." And I think of the state puff marshmallow man that starts destroying New York. It's like that, but it's like a bunch of troons. So Harry Potter comes into mind because the they never read another book, and then, the J, then a gigantic Godzilla-sized J.K. Rowling comes out of the ocean and starts shooting lasers at buildings and shit. <laughs> Today is Pippi, Pippa's birthday. Say happy birthday, happy birthday, Pippa! I actually got into a fight with someone because um, 
in, in chat because they wanted me to a log Pippa Moore because apparently her character is three years old in her official autobiography, and I saw no source for this. And I thought that seems like an error. Maybe it's like thirty or <laughs> wishful thinking, thirteen something besides three. So I actually watched like a nanosecond of her fucking introduction video where she explains. That she's not three years old, not three months old, not three days old. She's just three with no time delineation given. It's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means, but the character is clearly not meant to be a three-year-old. So I can't, I can't in good faith say that it's supposed to be a toddler. Coco Atarashi, real says so she hates harry potter but her hate for trans people is bigger yes tammo says controversy baiting because no one watches your streams is crazy lol i guess enjoy an audience of total freaks because that's your base from now on uh she got 4500 viewers for her stream i'm pretty sure so that is the responses that pippa got now i must a log the rabbit very smart of her to capitalize on this. However, I cannot say the rabbit is based. Because I watched a video. Someone said, Josh, watch this video. It is a Pippa Pipkin saying, don't be sluts. Don't have uh, extramarital affairs. Don't coom. And she says this. But yet, when I go to her Twitter and read through her tweets, I see this. Official Pippa Pipkins merchandise. Uh, you can buy this as a as a Daki Makaru cover for your pillow. And if you're not satisfied by this offering, you can find one of a mouse pad where she has the little rabbit tail as like an anal anal plug, and you can put your hand on that when you uh when you play your video games. And it's like, how do you, on one hand, say, I denounce, like, coomerism and man sluts and female sluts, and then, uh, like, have this as your official merchandise? It's not even the same as the Pikami, like, retweeting drawings. It's like, that's something that she sold. And it's like, I don't care if it makes you money. You can't say that your principles are one thing and then profit off another thing. That's just hypocritical. Um... Uh, I think I'll also mention that I have been told the deep lore on, on Pippa. And there are two stories which are of interest. The first is that she at one point lived... I have already talked about already that she um, is married. I don't know if she's married, but she's in a long-term relationship. She's a furry. Her boyfriend's a furry. She's in a long-term relationship with a guy that she met when she was underage and he was in his 20s. And now that she's overage, she can do whatever the fuck she wants. But she, that's weird. Um, but, you know, whatever at this point. One of her stories was that she lived in a in a house sit situation where she was living with a bunch of other people. I assume it's a mixed gender thing where it's like poor people. Like if you don't have much money, you can go to live in. But I think she didn't trust her roommates. So she had a backpack that she used and cause she didn't want to put her tampons in the bin where they belong because she, I guess she wasn't certain knowing that her roommates wouldn't steal her used tampons. She kept them in a backpack and she had a backpack full of used tampons. I work fast food and I had the very unfortunate chore of having to change the uh the trash bins of the women's restroom ones if you have never smelled a used tampon you're not prepared for it um i pulled the trash bag up and it almost knocked me on my fucking ass i i i almost passed out i almost threw up it it really is the most pugnant disgusting fucking smell ever um it's like irony it's it's really vile so the fact that she had a backpack full of that shit is pretty fucking gross the other thing that she's famous for is that she has bad teeth and this coincides with another story that she told where she had a drawer full of vomit 
And you may remember the the meme of the little boy pissing in in the drawers and getting found out that he had uh, that mom found the piss drawer. She had a drawer full of vomit, and I think that what it is is that she was bulimic. Um, so that's why her teeth are bad. If you don't know, being bulimic rots your teeth. So I think she has bad teeth because she was bulimic. Because uh, there is, men will tolerate backpacks full of tampons. They will tolerate you V tubing. They will tolerate you having a drawer full of vomit as long as you're thin. As long as you're thin and as a woman, you can get away with whatever the fuck you want. Um, so I, so I think that's that's what's happening with that. And it's like that. My my I I have empathy for the rabbit. And I realized she was a very small VTuber not too long ago. And now she's made it big. And I'm sure that if you're so poor that you're living in a house with perverts that you can't trust to not steal your tampons, it's nice to be financially independent. So I'm glad I'm glad that she's doing well. Hopefully her health is in 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 upswing. And I'm glad that she is deciding to take a a soft stand against censorship and this sort of weird, gross, troon pressure. However, please empathize with me when I say I really don't want anything to do with VTubers. Please stop trying to get me to, to do videos with VTubers. Please stop asking me to like them because I, while I don't wish anything bad on the fucking rabbit between the weird sexualized drawings of, of the fucking character between the vomit drawer and the tampon bag and all that shit, I just see someone who is mentally ill, who does a character that people like because I think that a lot of people who listen to her, they're just like, oh, she's in my league. She has a backpack full of tampons and throws up in a drawer. She'd fuck me. She's like, I could totally hit that. That's like, that's like, that would, that would fuck me. That's like weird and gross. I'm weird and gross. That would fuck me. That's that's like, bro, come on now, <laughs> come on now. Um, but no, for real. I I hope that she's doing better now. I hope that her relationship is not weird and abusive, and everything is normalizing. Um, and I hope that if you are already into the VTuber stuff, um, you will patronize people who choose to make even a super fit because i do believe that this is in some ways superficial it's like let's capitalize on, on this event it may it may align with some of her beliefs but if i'm sure if her management told her don't do this shit anymore she would stop i don't think she would quit her her job and sacrifice her character the rabbit to move to a different platform i think she would go with the money and i can't blame her Especially if she once lived in a condition that was so atrocious that she had to keep her tampons in a bag because she couldn't trust somebody to steal it because she didn't have any money to live on her own. I, I understand, but I think it's I think it's mostly superficial. But if you're gonna if you're gonna patronize this shit anyways, patronize people who have at least the audacity to make a superficial commitment to telling these people who are threatening them on Twitter to go fuck themselves. And that is the. Um, that is the strongest form of endorsement that I can give uh, at this juncture. He doesn't have to know Pippa, says Gator. <laughs> no, Gator's hooking up with me. Come on now. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.